we're actually seeing this interesting, I, I don't know if it's a trend that's broad enough to call a trend, but uh, data points around just those that are outsourced, processes that are outsourced to BPOs already or to GCCs in another country or whatever else, right? Um, where productivity is the primary driver. And uh, it's also not currently within the enterprise. It is externally to the enterprise. What is the trade-off there? Processes that are in-house versus processes that are outsourced, what would it what would that be the, uh, where would there be more adoption? Yeah, I've talked to a number of companies about that, uh, exactly that. My quick reaction would be those are going to move faster because there's an economic incentive and clear metrics and such, which can cause them to move faster. You know, it's easier to, in some cases, to exit in, in a contract with an outsourcer than to deal with your own workforce implications and, and those sorts of things. However, the, the, the contra to that that I'm finding in talking to many organizations is that's where technology has often been applied pretty well. So the outsource, it not, not, it's not universal across every BPO domain or IT outsourcing domain, but they tend to be pretty well automated. So when you look, go look at generative AI, it's not moving from a manual process to generative AI and massive savings. It's moving from a highly industrialized, automated with every possible existing technology yeah. environment to the net incremental impact now of generative AI. And that's a smaller bump than some imagine it to be.